are you having a hard time realizing your own blessings and be a blessing to others? There are many things that causes us to be blinded from seeing our own blessings and also we ourselves cause others to not see theirs. And it makes it hard to live a life in its fullness and just be joyful and a little less stressful. And so in this video, I'm going to share three things that can blind us from realizing our own blessings and be a blessing to others. But disclaimer, I've read this from a book and this is not my original idea. The book is entitled Mercy Within Mercy Within Mercy by Father Savi Sikwan, a Benedictine monk. And it's available at Abbey of the Transfiguration at Malaybalay City. Alright, so here's the first. Sometimes we can be blinded by our rage, our anger, or our temper. And sometimes out of our anger, we can utter words that are destructive. And instead of being a blessing to others, we become the reason for that person to be, to be more wounded, to be more challenged in his current situation. I learned that in my self-righteousness, I can be too hard on people and be blinded by the fact that I cannot expect others to act this way or to say these words and also learn that in my criticalness I can push people too hard and push them into the brink of being broken. And so here's the third but for that stick up to the end of this video because I'm gonna be sharing two other tips that not all blindness are that bad. Right, being blinded by our own ego and pride that even though we have been told so many times to desist from the things that can harm us that even though we have been corrected by the people around us, by our loved ones so many times. Still, we hold on and play blind and deaf to their pleadings because of our pride. And so, it, instead of being a source of encouragement and a blessing to them, we become their concern. And so, if we cling on to those things, we are making ourselves blind from realizing our own blessings and be a blessing to others. But not all blindness are that bad. I've also learned in the book that there is this thing called spirituality of blindness. That blindness is a virtue. That I ought to be blind in the transgressions and hurts done me rather than end the day not at peace with my neighbor. That I ought to be blind in forgiving the wrongdoings done me in the past than remain a prisoner in that past. And that I ought to be blind in holding on to God and following Him even though I don't understand my crosses in life, my hardships in this life. And so may we have that disposition to see which of the things in our lives which can help us be a blessing to others and see our own blessings. So may we choose to be blinded to bless others. May we choose to be blinded for God and may you be blessed. God bless.